All right, so this is how you change your own oil on this truck. It's a 2011 International 4300 with the Max Force DT. Very simple. I highly advise you to have this as a uh, precautionary or not spilling oil all over the place, even though it probably would spill. Uh, I did it very simple. I've used um, regular automotive ramps because without them, the, the, the bucket barely fits in there. It's the very efficient method, very quick if you want to do it on the way or so. Your drain plug is right here. You don't see a bunch of stuff in there. And that's actually why I'm draining the oil. I've got to fix the bottom pan on it, on the engine. It has some leaks in there. But that's it. You know, you just, that bolt right there, it's, ugh. I'm not going to show you the whole process because, you know, you, I mean, if you, the bolt is right in there. Um, so you just open that up. It's going to, the oil, I mean, the hole is about this big. So be ready for some crazy flow of oil. This thing has, if I'm not mistaken, seven and a half gallons of oil in here. It's a smaller motor, so it has a little bit less oil in it. And uh, your filter, your oil filter will be, uh, if you go from the back, you could see, see that blue stuff right there? That's your oil filter. So. I mean, you could probably get to it from here, see it from here, or if you go underneath the truck, I usually get to it right from where I'm draining the oil, and I'm underneath the truck right now, and that's my filter right there. It's long as heck, uh, right here. There is a, I don't know if I can get a part number for you here. I don't mean any automotive store they'll show you the part numbers for these things but yeah so that's the pan and that's the filter all you gotta do is you unscrew it a lot of times it's kind of hard get a filter wrench and you know that's all it is to it one bucket full you have to move the second bucket real quick so let's say if the one bucket fills up it's pretty full all you do is you move the second one out of here uh, it's gonna be hard because it's gonna be five gallons of oil in here it's heavy but uh, you, the other option is, and I think it's a little easier, on this case, you could just move the actual pan. Gives you a bit more flexibility, plus you don't, you don't get oiled up like crazy. That's it to it, nothing much. Once you do that, you drain the oil first, and then, then you take the filter. It's going to be full of oil. Be careful with it to use that little pan. So you're not gonna mess up your driver or whatever you do with it, or if your truck stop or something. Um, take that filter, be careful with it. It's gonna be full of oil, um, and drain it back into your one of your buckets. Whatever you're gonna have some space left, about half a bucket left for the second one. Then once you do that, you take your new filter. Um, it comes with the gasket. Make sure you lubricate the gasket with clean oil. That you're gonna get at auto parts store. You put the filter on, and then you. Put the plug back in here make sure you don't, don't forget to do that put the plug back in and then on the top where you check your oil that's where you're gonna put your new oil in here you open that up you put a funnel in here put the oil in if you got any questions let me know um, i think the process is pretty straightforward but for some people that never done their oil on their car on the truck it will be you know because i've been changing my own i've never went to the oil change place because i like to know how much oil i put in what kind of oil i put in and what kind of filter i put on and at the oil change places actually no i did once i brought my own filter because <laughs> they give you some crappy filters and stuff so yeah there's not much to it that's all it is just drain out of oil make sure you have two buckets because it's seven and a half gallons of oil in here Make sure you have a filter and your oil. The oil this truck takes is 15W40. Um, I use Rotella or Mobile Delvac. They're pretty good. Um, I wouldn't advise, uses, advise using synthetics um, unless you have lots of money, uh, just because it still deteriorates and you know the oil change intervals on the synthetic is. On this, see, on, on the diesel motors, oil doesn't burn that much. It just it just suits up. So if you have a good filter, you can change the filter a couple of times on it, without changing oil.
because it, the oil doesn't really deteriorate. It's not, you know, it's kind of a high temp operation, but not really because there's no gas. The suit does not, you know, if you have gas deposits coming into oil, it, it kills the oil. With diesel, since it only gets to suit, it's kind of like sand, but very, very fine sand. Uh, or not, I wouldn't say sand, um, exhaust dust. That's what I, yes, because sand will kill your engine. It's just basically in a diesel engine, it gets very fine exhaust dust. It's kind of like ash. So that's the only contamination that diesel oil gets. And uh, if you clean it up, if you get good filters, uh, you could change your filters and just add oil. And what I, you know, and what I do is I send the oil for analysis. Some people don't do it, some do. Uh, the analysis would, if you know how to read that, it would show you if your engine has some kind of wear and what component it is. Other than that, you could run your oil for longer intervals than everybody says you could, but it takes some work to it. So if you don't want to bug with it, you know, just, if you don't want to play with it, just uh, change your oil at the recommended intervals and you're good to go. If you want to save some money and know more about your motor, I would go my route. Just uh, analyze the oil and, uh, you know, change your filters. That's, you know, and add oil when you change the filters. But that's it. That's it for today. Uh, let, me, let me know if you need any other information other than that. Uh, if you have any questions, just post them below. I'll do my best to answer it. And once again, sorry guys, I didn't post the videos I want, you know, how to rebuild this primer because my hard drive, uh, you know, it's in a truck. Somehow it got hit or squeezed by something and it dies. I had to repair service on it, so I sent it over for repair. They couldn't repair half of the stuff that was on it. But, you know, at least I got some. But yeah, so I'll post some new videos of different things, but not the primer rebuild. I might find my old because I ended up replacing this completely this whole housing this thing here um, I might find my old one I'll just show you how to rebuild it but you got to be very careful because when I was doing mine I think I bent something in there and then, then and I guess I'll show you what it is when I'll be doing it but uh, you got to be very careful with it so when I've, I kind of messed mine up just to show you guys how to rebuild it and then I had to get another one. But anyways, yeah, that's the thing. Anyways, that's all it is. Um, you know, comment, subscribe.